uh, dear distinguished participants and guests, Tempest partners, gentlemen, we don't have ladies here, just gentlemen. We do? Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it gives me, together with my colleague in the Tempest project, with my uh, partner colleagues, great pleasure to welcome you all here in German Jordanian University in our launching workshop for the Maintenance Education and Training Center. The importance of maintenance program cannot be <coughs> overlooked because it plays such an important role in the effectiveness of manufacturing. As in personal health care, maintenance may be considered as the health care for our manufacturing uh, companies and systems and its equipments. It is required to effectively reduce waste and run an efficient continuous manufacturing operation, business or service operation even. In most scenarios, the cost of maintenance is very feasible and it is, when compared with the cost of poor maintenance, it is much more less. The industrial sector in Jordan is one of the fastest growing sectors. It contributes high percentage to the GDP and the employment of manpower. Lack of proper maintenance procedures and technical know-how can lead to the equipment failure and halt of production causing large financial losses. The education and skills of technical staff is the vital for survival of our industrial, sister, industrial sector. Such know-how and training, in maintenance especially, will help produce equipment downtime, will decrease the dependency of foreign maintenance services, and will, will lower the production cost totally. Here in JGU, our, our German Jordan University was modeled as the Applied Sciences German Universities, characterized by their focus on putting knowledge into practice and empowering knowledge transfer. JGU is intended to serve as a unique university of applied training, exper experiential learning, and professional excellence oriented towards market and industry needs. The university has an objective to, uh, objective to contribute positively to socio-economic development, to be able to survive today's <coughs> competitive and technologi technologically oriented world. Today's workshop would include numbers of advanced topics in the maintenance engineering field, namely maintenance management and planning, maintenance methods and techniques, approaches to maintenance and spare part manufacturing, programmable logic controllers, simulation as an enabler for reactive predictive production control, and predictive maintenance and troubleshooting of pneumatic and hydraulic systems. And these lectures would be at the second uh, and third half of the lecture. The workshop has been organized to cover various maintenance interesting fields, with lecturing and hopefully uh, experience exchange. So we do encourage participants to uh, exchange their uh, experience. Uh, therefore, the workshop will provide us not only with essential knowledge, but with it will be a great opportunity to share experience. I would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere thanks to our honorable guests and speakers. All of them have been working with us since the planning, the beginning of the planning for the workshop, and they are here today, although we know their busy schedule. As I said before uh, the lecturing sessions, we would like to introduce our keynote speakers and would start with our JGU Vice President, Professor Anton Mangstel. Please. Good morning to everybody. Welcome to our guests from different European countries working together in this very important Tempus project. Welcome also to our participants from Jordan. Specifically, I learned that we do have quite a number of <laughs> representatives of Jordanian industry, what I find extremely important because we have to strengthen our linkages between uh, 
<laughs> the university and, and, and the private sector and industry. I don't need to say much about GGU because you did it very nicely to introduce our concept. My job here is as the Vice President for International Affairs mostly to work with our partners in Germany. International means very much German relations, but we are also very happy and pleased to extend our network to other European countries. We had just yesterday an important visit from a university in Austria. And um, we will, uh, and specifically through these European funded programs, there is a great opportunity for us also to work and collaborate and network with other European partners. We, <coughs> as, has, as has been said, we have strong linkages to Germany. We have now more than 80 partner universities in Germany. Most of them are so-called Fachhochschule, applied universities. We have, just to give you also an idea regarding numbers, last September we had the biggest batch of students going to Germany. It has been al almost 300 students all over Germany. And you can imagine to, man to manage this kind of a program with so many partners and so many students, not an easy task. But I do feel myself, now I'm here since three years, a very rewarding job what we are doing because we are not only working in the a very important area of academic programs and education, but also building intercultural cultural bridges. Our students in Germany, and not all, but the most of them doing very well, they are excellent ambassadors for the Arab culture in Germany. Because I'm, what I'm always saying, what does a normal German human being know about and the Arab culture, Arab countries? Most of the time, not very positive, because what they hear in the news and what they read is about problems. And uh, with our project, we are able to, uh, to demonstrate that they are very nice people and the culture is very worthwhile to study and to learn about. And in addition, in our programs, what I would like to mention as well is our um, students have a very challenging task in addition to their study programs they do, also learning German language. We have um, the largest German language uh, department maybe of a universities worldwide. We have now at this time we have 65 <coughs> German teachers because all the students start not only from day one but day one minus one month they start with a pre-course to learn German to be able in the after three years to survive their German year. But now I would like to have a few words focusing on your workshop and your campus program. I personally do believe that universities, and I would like to see us here in the region as a model, should and can not only focus on their traditional academic programs, namely our bachelor and master programs, which is the pillar and the mo most important activity we do. I am a strong believer in training, lifelong learning, ongoing <coughs> training programs, and therefore I really like this project because this should help us uh, to offer to people who need specific skills and trainings after finishing their studies while working. And I can tell you, but I have to move carefully, that one of my um, intentions is for GGU that we should try also to, uh, to introduce what we have in Germany so successfully now, the dual study program. To offer programs <coughs> for people to study while working they have some, some, even young people, they start with a contract with a company to get their vocational training and they get, uh, obtain also a bachelor degree. And I see this in a very modular approach through, through a training centers established at GGU. We have one already working in the area of, uh, of, of management. We are planning another one in the area of renewable energies. And I could see if these centers develop excellent programs, you could build this in a modular way. I go and take maybe three or four modules, and after having done this, I can obtain a master's degree with the university. So this could be a very interesting development beyond what you are discussing now in, the, in, in this workshop. And I also do <coughs> believe such an activity does give us a great opportunity to work hard to build much, much stronger links to the private sector here in Jordan, in the region, 
because uh, what I believe one of the success stories of Germany is, first of all, the educational system. We do have a strong vocational training system, what does not ex exist here and, and maybe will never exist because we cannot just um, eat up 200 years of history what happened in Germany in this area. And then, but also through these training center programs, we need better linkages to the industry. We need to work with our colleagues in industry to that we understand what would be a win-win situation in working together with industry. And I am always saying those who are so critical what this, things are not moving quickly enough in Jordan, I'd say my German colleagues be just patient because until 20, 25 years ago, this was not standard in Germany that universities do have strong linkages to industry. In contrary, I have always the example of my own life. I established a laboratory for soil analysis with my boss in, 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 in near Munich. We have almost been fired because this was not accepted that the university has an activity that professors would just establish a company. Nowadays, a professor doing this would have from the president university all kind of rewards and thank you do, for doing this, but this was not the same 25 years ago. And, uh, and therefore, this is an area we have to strengthen our linkages. We need this collaboration and we need also to encourage industry to work together, not only in training, but also in applied research, because there are so many topics that we could do together and develop new ideas, new concepts, new products together with the, with the private sector. Now, my last comment to your workshop, I find this, as I said, extremely important because maintenance is a very important um, activity also to make sure that we have a good and sustainable use and of our resources. <coughs> and I, have, I, won't, I would like to quote one of our famous professors in Germany, Professor Wolfgang Heckel. He is a professor at the TU München in Munich. At the same time, he is the director of the of Deutsches, of the Deutsches Museum in, 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 in Munich. And he has one initiative now. He is very much bareheading it. There are people in Germany, just normal citizens, they um, come together in a cafe or some other places and bring their broken tools from, from their households because they are fed up to learn that every time if some, uh, s some tool at your household is broken, you go to the shop and they throw it away, buy a new one, it's cheaper. But, uh, and now this movement is starting slowly that people think, is this a responsible way to deal with our resources? to deal with our environment? Is it not much better to find a way and maybe to, pa to, to pay a little bit a higher price if you buy something which you, ca you, you can repair afterwards and not have to throw it away? So maintenance goes not only in the area you are talking in the industry, but uh, also to our private lives. I wish you a very successful workshop and I also want to give you the greetings of our president, Professor Wade. He is just now, I think he has landed this morning in, in Berlin. He is in Germany for a couple of days. Thank you very much for inviting me and all the best for your workshop. Assalamu alaikum. So good morning, everybody. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. Greetings to a large audience, uh, which uh, we didn't expect to be so big. So, uh, my name is Peter Kreinig. I am the author and coordinator of this project and uh, I, will, I will be very brief now with giving you a bit of a background to what we are doing in the project and uh, the uh, objectives to invite you here today and uh, well, some European perspective in higher education and training for uh, working professionals in the industry. So the Middle Eastern Partnership in Sustainable Engineering started with the initial partnership uh, now in Jordan, German Jordanian University, uh, University of Jordan and Amman Chamber of Industry. At this point I would like to acknowledge uh, a very dedicated work from uh, the 
three colleagues from the university, starting with uh, Dr. Hazem Kailani, uh, Dr. Haldun Tagbup, and Mohandas Fadal Abadi. So thank you, uh, thank you for dedicated work that actually brought us to the point that we are sitting here today. I would also like to, uh, I would also like to uh, welcome our Palestinian partners. The representatives are sitting here. So we have, uh, we have Birzeit University, we have Anna Ja National University from Nablus, and Palestinian Federation of Industries from Ramallah. Uh, the European partnership is, uh, while well University of Ljubljana is a coordinating institution, we have KTH, Royal, Royal Institute of Technology from Stockholm, Sweden, and TU Berlin from uh, Germany. Initial partnership, this is how we started. Today, at this point, we want to extend the partnership beyond this, uh, well, the list of nine partners here, and hopefully the center that will start here in Jordan will, 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 bring, uh, will bring all the industrial partners closer, closer to us and uh, it will basically aid further collaboration. So what I mean with partnership, the idea when we started, with, uh, when we started is to have a Jordanian education and training center and the Palestinian education and training centers. So in each center we have two universities and representatives from the industry because like uh, that was the starting point. We, we, we needed the voice of the industry to start with and this was basically really the number one input to our partnership and then we have uh, our European partners with specific expertise, namely production engineering and management in Sweden, mechanical engineering at the University of Ljubljana and sustainable manufacturing uh, that has been largely researched and worked at TU Berlin. Uh, before continuing, I would give you a little bit of a background of the European higher education area. And this was a process that took more than 10 years to brought us here and the background of Tempus work, which is a, a, a program funded by the European Commission, was to establish and basically to spread the ideas of the European higher education. So the, uh, the process how to establish the area has been finished in Europe. It took, as I said, 11 years, it has been finished and now the Tempus project as well is finished. So the, we are basically now in the last year of the program and we are not, uh, it's not pretty clear how this uh, program will continue in the future, but definitely there will be continuation of opportunities to collaborate with our uh, Middle Eastern partners. So in this, in this area, in Europe, we establish a common credit transfer system so that, you know, all the students can move from different universities and they would have comparable grades. Uh, we have a three cycle degree structure from bachelor to master and doctoral degree. We have a qualification frameworks established and approved quality systems. And a lot of ideas from this uh, European higher education area came into this project, especially when uh, we started dealing with curricular reform. And curricular reform was the, let's say, the 80% of the effort we took in this project. And uh, we, we started with developing a credit in new, new curricula. And in Jordan, we have maintenance engineering and quality management. And in Palestine, we have sustainable engineering. So now, this curricular work gave us two new master programs for students. Now, and apart from this work, our motivation was to extend, uh, to extend our work and offer training courses to industry. So basically, the work developed partially in, in, in these uh, master courses. We extended them to training courses, and this is what we are offering now to the industry. So, uh, and the ideas for this also come from the European policies on higher education and society. And the, uh, the background of this is uh, 
motivation to strengthen the role of universities in society and uh, basically via development of lifelong learning and encourage cooperation between higher education and enterprises. And that's where Amman Chamber of Industry and Palestinian Federation of Industries are doing a great job supporting our efforts. And uh, at the end, actually, what we want to do is to develop uh, a synergy between education on a master level, research coming from Europe and coming from, let's say, research in Jordan and Palestine into, into training and ed educational courses. So the specific objectives of the project was to establish two ed education and training centers, one in Jordan and one in Palestine, and use them to bring the expertise and knowledge from Europe uh, through education and training, first designed for students and you uh, guys sitting here from the industry and to promote <coughs> collaboration within countries, in the region and internationally. And at the end of the day, we want to have the center sustainable and uh, we want them to deliver services to industry for your benefits. Uh, in case of Jordan, the partnership was pretty, you know, the, the whole idea behind is pretty simple. We have the Jordanian industry here as the main driver to give input to the center. So the center gets, uh, to gets the voice of the industry mainly through chambers of industries and similar partners and the two universities here, University of Jordan and German <coughs> Jordanian University are offering their courses and services to the industry in the center. And uh, this is my last slide and uh, it just summarizes where our contribution is. So now what we want to offer is short courses and career re-engineering courses for working professionals. Uh, it's exactly in line what uh, uh, Professor Mansell said and uh, foster links with the industry broaden specialization, emphasize problem solving, develop teamwork, learn, gain strategic perspectives and build skills. And this is where we started and uh, I hope uh, this will be a starting point for a fruitful <coughs> collaboration in the future. So thank you very much. That was all. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Distinguished guests, dear staff and colleagues, uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you again here in this workshop on maintenance, uh, engineering and management. As uh, our previous speakers uh, said, this workshop activities are part of the TIMBAS project entitled Middle Eastern Partnership in Sustainable Engineering. And as uh, Professor Peter said, uh, we have nine partners in this project, three from Europe, three from Jordan, and three from Palestine. Uh, in Jordan, the project aims at introducing a master program in maintenance engineering and to establish education and training center to advance knowledge of engineers in areas related to maintenance, of course, and to provide training and consultation for local industries in Jordan. So. Uh, through cooperation between University of Jordan, uh, Amman Chamber of Industry, the German Jordanian University, uh, we started by preparing a survey. Uh, we created a questionnaire. This questionnaire was disseminated among the industries in, in uh, engineers and managers in Jordan. Uh, the questionnaire was used to collect information about the industry needs. And uh, uh, we extracted uh, uh, conclusions regarding uh, the contents of the proposed master program and the contents of the courses to be offered in the training center. Uh, we surveyed about 70 companies in Jordan. Uh, these companies cover a wide range of industries, including pharmaceutical companies, plastic, chemical companies, wood and furniture, engineering, packaging, beverages and textiles and others. So uh, after considering the analysis information we collected from the questionnaire, it was found that the surveyed individuals and companies are generally uh, less satisfied with the skills 
of their maintenance and technical staff. Of course, it depends on the type of the skills. Certain skills, uh, like in, uh, let me say, in the area of hydraulic and pneumatic system, uh, we have certain level of, uh, of skills, but in other areas, especially when we talk about control system, PLC, uh, more uh, skills and competences are needed. So this suggests that offering uh, short training courses sh should improve competences of maintenance engineers and technical staff. The survey also showed that industrial sector in Jordan is aware of the role of maintenance function and it's important. This was demonstrated through dedicating resources for maintenance. So the companies appreciate the role of maintenance uh, within their organization. Uh, so 93% of the companies surveyed, they have their own maintenance department. Uh, and actually they perform to some extent schedule maintenance, preventive maintenance, uh, and use uh, maintenance management systems uh, software. However, the results also show that companies are not able to, be, to perform all types of maintenance activity efficiently. Most companies face maintenance difficulties as they frequently seek outside assistance to solve their maintenance problems. I'm sure there are uh, enough skills in the companies to work with the daily needs of uh, uh, maintenance within these organizations, but from time to time, certain maintenance problem will come and these companies will, will seek help from outside. Uh, so actually, uh, we, we got into the conclusion that there is a need to establish a, a, a training center for maintenance that can provide short training courses in different topics. Uh, the structure of the training center was established and resources needed for the training center were provided through the Timbas grant and uh, the German Jordanian University. The maintenance training center objectives or the maintenance training center aim to achieve the following objectives. Number one, strengthen the Jordanian industrial capabilities in the field of maintenance. Two, update knowledge, competences, and practical skills of the maintenance staff working for the Jordanian industries. Three, upgrade maintenance procedures, practices, and management systems applied at the Jordanian industries. Four, enhance productivity, competitiveness, and product by product quality by avoiding equipment failure due to poor maintenance planning or lack of, of proper maintenance procedure. And the last objective is five, encourage and spread out the lifelong learning practices in the area of industrial maintenance. Now to achieve these objectives, uh, the main services of the centers, mainly two services, number one, organize specialized training programs and courses that cover different technical and management fields related to industrial maintenance. Second, provide specialized industrial maintenance advisory and consultan consultancy services. So uh, today's workshop is an important step toward laying the foundation for the training programs and services. Uh, I look forward to hearing your thoughts and on how we can better engage and serve local industry in Jordan as well as strengthening links between university and Jordan. Uh, last but not least, I would like to thank all the individuals and organizations who participated in the survey. I would like also to extend my thanks to uh, all uh, partners, uh, all individuals who uh, supported us a special thanks to Professor Mangistel, uh, thanks to our European, Palestinian, and Jordanian partners, and thank you all for your participation and contribution. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, first of all, I'm terribly sorry for being late. It's just uh, I'm, I'm uh, running so many factories at the moment, so I have to travel all the way from uh, Dlail to come to here. Uh, I'm so happy of uh, being involved as uh, uh, a person and also as Amman Chamber of Industry. As a person, I, I, uh, my daughter has graduated from uh, the GJU as an industrial engineer 
and my uh, son, youngest son, Sanad, is studying now in uh, maintenance engineering, maintenance and mechanical engineering. So it's an honor for me to be with you here today. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased to share with you the uh, opening of this workshop that talks, uh, that uh, tackles an important issue to the Jordanian industry, which is training in industrial maintenance engineering and management. Amman Chamber of Industry joined the uh, Tempest project, Middle Eastern, Palestine, uh, uh, Pal uh, sorry, Middle Eastern uh, Partnership in Sustainable Engineering with other esteemed partners from Jordan, Europe, and Palestine. In order to achieve a strategic vision and objective, which is to enhance the partnership between the industrial sector and the uh, academic sector in the fields of learning and in engineering education. Uh, before proceeding with my speech, I would like to highlight the importance of the Jordanian industry sector on the main uh, pillars of the Jordanian economy that uh, contribute to 25% of the gross domestic production. In the year 2013, there were 17,000 uh, 17, industrial firms employing around 240,000 workers. Jordanian expert exceeded uh, 5 billion Jordanian dinars and reach more than 120 countries. Parallel to these uh, industries and achievements, the industrial sector faces big challenges, mainly in the uh, increase of production cost and energy cost, which, are, which results in high competi uh, competition in the Jordanian products faces uh, uh, faces in the local, regional, and international market. Some such competition depends on several factors such as quality, price, innovation, production capacity, lead time, uh, distribution channels, and after-sales services. Therefore, in, in light of maintained challenges, our role through this Tempest project was mainly to build the partnership with other uh, stakeholders and uh, to stress on the in, uh, industrial needs and priorities in the uh, and priorities are for maintenance training and education in order to contribute to the mission and service uh, the Jordan industry to overcome challenges and competitiveness issues through the project phases, we were able to contribute mainly to the following achievements and milestones. A close cooperation with uh, other uh, stakeholders. A surveillance uh, was made to the industrial sector through organized workshop in at Amman Chamber of Industry uh, and field visits, uh, distribution of questionnaires, the survey's uh, outcome specify the uh, priorities and needs of the industrial sector for maintenance training. In several areas such as maintenance planning and management, pneumatic systems, hydraulic systems, programmable uh, logic controls, electrical and mechanical systems. Actually, uh, we have a, a need. Uh, I am also working in CADB uh, as a general manager for two factories. We do have big needs for maintenance engineering in these facilities. Because if you ask for, for a maintenance guy, he, somebody comes as a hydraulic guy, somebody comes as an electrician, somebody comes with, uh, with uh, electronics. So you don't really have a proper maintenance engineer that can help in all aspects because you don't need you know a, a, speci a specialized person in every subject so we're hoping that this program will help in closing the gap and uh, uh, serving the industry in this aspect also develop 
uh, of a detailed business plan of the maintenance training center, which is expected to be launched soon uh, at the G, uh, GJU. The business plan covers the technical, financial, and sustainable issues of the center in, the, in addition to the requirement methodology uh, to satisfy the industrial needs. Develop of a detailed promotion plan for launching the maintenance, the uh, maintained maintenance training center of, uh, and for the master program of maintenance, engineering and management launched at the University of Jordan. When I came to the uh, German Jordan University to register my son, they said that there is maintenance engineering and I was planning to, uh, to register, he was convinced to register in maintenance engineering. But unfortunately, we heard that uh, because people don't know about maintenance engineering in Jordan, they, they, they even, even the, uh, the uh, uh, engineering uh, faculties uh, and engineering association does not have a registration for maintenance engineering. So they had to combine it with mechanical engineering, which is also, uh, that's why we, there is a need for a, a, a proper, uh, a proper, let's say, marketing plan. It should be marketed uh, properly. Uh, promotion plan. Also add uh, to the above our uh, contribution to several planning and management uh, activities of this project. Of course, I don't want to repeat what everybody says. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, before, clo uh, before concluding uh, my, my speech, I'd like to thank you, to, to thank the European Committee and all partners of their kind support. Also to the uh, German Jordan University for hosting this event. In addition to that, I'd like to uh, confirm the following issues and proposals with Amman Chamber of Industry gaining through the, this uh, Tempest projects. I mean, gained through this Tempest project. The importance of provi uh, providing quality maintenance engineering and, techni uh, and technicians to the Jordanian industry, as this is important to the uh, productivity, competitiveness, and quality of products. The raising demand for design and organize high quality training programs and courses for the, uh, to, to, the, to focus on the actual uh, priorities, needs and part, uh, particular applic uh, applications of importance to industry in order to add a real value to the skills of the trainees. This goal can be achieved through cooperation with uh, qualified trans, uh, trainers selected from universities, professionals, and professors, uh, engineers working at the industry. Uh, continuous development of competitive, uh, com uh, competitive tr uh, training program through organized uh, specialists. Uh, thank you and wish you all the success. Thank you.